Fallout London is great when you take away the load screens and the constant crashes. Luckily, there is a way to fix this. I'm coming up on 10 hours now in Fallout London. I haven't had a single crash within those 10 hours and loading screens are always under 20 seconds. I cannot guarantee perfect results, so I will link a subreddit which basically covers every single problem that the mod currently has. Do keep in mind the developers are working on all of these problems and will probably be fixing them soon. To get started as a minor disclaimer, you are going to need to install some mods for this and you are going to need a mod manager for the route that I'm about to show you. Go over to Nexus Mods, create an account, it is as easy as making an account on any other site. Links are in the description. Just to clarify, the mod manager I'm going to be using in this video is Vortex. It is just more beginner friendly and more simple. Once you've made your account and you've installed Vortex, come over to the games tab on Vortex and just search for Fallout 4. It will have a little icon saying manage, just click that and you'll know it's working when the little icon up here appears. You can now go to your mods and this should be empty if you haven't installed anything yet. When you get back on the Nexus, type in buff out 4. I've left links to this in the description as well. This will fix almost all of the crushing problems that Fallout London has. So we're going to go to files and click mod manager download. You are going to need these prerequisites so I'll show you how to do them now. First of all for the address library you can just click the link or you can alternatively search it up. Again links in the description. Just click mod manager download for the address library. It should come up with a prompt. You open vortex. This should just install to your mod manager and that is working completely fine now. So when installing buff out 4 we do need to install the address library. We do need to install the plugging preloader. If you're installing Fallout London it comes with the script extender so you don't need to install the script extender. So before we install buff out 4, just make sure that you've got the address library and the pl plugin preloader. And now we can install buff out 4. Now for the load screens. This will also do some other things like uncap your FPS, which is nice for some people, along with fix some minor physics issues, and I'm pretty sure it can stop physics based crashing. So again, links in the description, or you can type in high FPS physics fix, come over to files, and if you're playing Fallout London, make sure you get this one. We're running it on the old version of Fallout. This is for the next gen update, which is not compatible with Fallout London as of right now. So you just click mod manager download and click download. And that is pretty much it. That is how you fix extremely long loading times and almost all of the crashes. Like I said, this might not be flawless, so I will link the subreddit in the description. One last note is if you're playing Fallout London, I have run into this problem myself. Just check your plugins tab and make sure that these two are checked because I've loaded up the game and these two haven't been checked and it just spawns you in the normal commonwealth of Fallout 4, which is obviously not what you want if you want to be playing Fallout London. So yeah, just double check that. You're now free to enjoy Fallout London crashless and no grueling long loading screens. If you're interested, check out this video here. I've started my own playthrough and I'm posting it here on YouTube. Have a look, mate.